So this is the HP Pavilion M6 1084C8. So what we're going to do is, first thing I did was I took out the battery. Okay. And now I'm going to take out the front cover. So you got to go really nice and slow because there's like tape in the back of this. And you don't want to break it. So once I'm done taking the cover off, I will uh, show you what to do next. Ready? Okay. Start. So now what we did is we took out the cover okay, that was here. Now I had to cut this part here. Okay. It's part of the shielding for the power inverter right here. So I cut that out, but we don't really care because we are the new LCD screen that comes, it's already got its own shielding. Okay, so now I'm going to take out the screws, okay, which is located one here, one there, one up here, and one there. And then I'll tilt it over and secure it back in, and I'll show you that as soon as I take those screws out. You can pause. Done? Okay. So I took the four screws out and then I pulled this one gently down. Okay. And at the same time, you can see here because it's glued on. So I gently pried it loose. So that way we can remove the connector right here. Okay. And the connector is covered with a little bit of plastic. And there we go, and it comes right off. And that's it for the screen. We'll put it away. And the new screen is right here. Okay. And it's very simple. We we'll take the connector, and then we put it right back in. So I know it's hard to see me work, but you'll see it in a second. And there we go. Okay. Bingo. It's in. Nice seal. There's no spacing anymore. I'll just tape it right back over. And this one goes right back in. Right over it. And fits right on the little grooves right there. This goes right underneath here, and this goes right underneath there. Okay. So that's it for this one. So now what we do is we're going to secure it with the screws. Okay. And quite simply like this. Don't over screw. It's a good move when screwing these on, George, that uh, you put it on nice and light before f making it firm and hard or anything. Exactly. So now we'll just take the little screens off. Okay. Okay. Take it right out. Okay, everything looks nice. And now what I'd like to do is at least test it to make sure that it's working fine before we put the cover back on. So we'll plug it in. Okay. Press the power.
And here it comes. Okay, yeah. so it works fine. Now we just take the power out and then put the cover back on. And we're done. Okay. And that's simply achieved. Okay, so we got to make sure we watch these ones here. Now remember, when I was taking it out, if you look up here for the camera, okay, these are glue, a little bit of glue right there that holds it in. So as you're putting the spudger in, you got to be careful not to rip this out, otherwise you'll damage the camera cable. Okay, that's the only note we have. Okay, so now I'm securing it from one end, and I work my way over to the other side. And it pops in securely. Yep. Okay. Okay. Hold it like this. I just want to look at it from here. Okay. Then we secure it a little bit there. That one's secure. Look at it from the bottom. Okay. It's a little bit here. There we go. Okay. Look at it. It's good. And it's all sealed up. Okay. Put the battery back in. We'll do one final look at it. Okay. And everything works. That's it, and the camera is right on, we can see it here, so we're all good.